welcome back to Lather and More. I am LaShonda and today we are making champagne and raspberry co-processed soap. And um, if you're new to my channel, welcome. If you are already a subscriber, welcome back. We're going to go ahead and get soap in you guys, so let's do it. Alright, I am adding my kale and clay and my bamboo extract. We're going to go ahead and stick blend that before adding our Watt Lye solution. Alright, that is good and incorporated. Next, we're going to go ahead and add our Lye solution. I'm going to sit my stick blender to the side, grab my little sifter, and I am going to strain this lye solution in. And I have added the bamboo, bamboo silk to my lye solution as well as the sodium lactate. So it's going to make for a very hard bar. And we're going to go ahead and bring this to a light trace. All right, it is to a light trace, you guys. Next, I'm going to go ahead and separate out my batch. I am be work I will be working with um, two colors today. My primary will be a white base. My two accent colors will be a gold and a um, a red that is a mixture of really red mica. Mica from Nature's Garden, and I have added some um, titanium, uh, excuse me, black activated charcoal to it because I wanted it more like a true raspberry kind of red um, color. And then we have here King's Gold Mica from Brambleberry. All right, and today's scent, we will be scenting with the strawberries and champagne fragrance oil from Wholesale Supplies Plus which is here, and I have actually added a bit of raspberry fragrance oil to this as well. It smells amazing. So let's go ahead and add our colorants. Oh, before I forget, and I always tend to do it, I have to add my yogurt to the mix. So I'm going to just add it to each. I'm going to lightly slick them, stick blend this in, but I'm going to add my titanium dioxide to it first before I stick blend it in. What does yogurt lend to the properties of soap? It is very moisturizing and a very calming agent to your soap batter. Um, very good for the skin. If you wanted to do like a uh, feminine kind of soap, you would do, you know, yogurt, which has good bacteria in it apple cider vinegar perhaps, um, you know, just to help with the pH balance of the soap. Alright, blend it just a little bit, I'm adding my fragrance oil. Sorry, you guys have to focus. All right. And I'm going to add a little bit more here. And a little bit more here. And the batter is really fluid, which I'm liking. There is no rising. There is no acceleration, which I'm very happy about. Um, the white will um, it will accelerate just a tiny bit only because of the titanium dioxide in it and I got my titanium dioxide from um, TKB and it is water soluble so I'm just dividing the fragrance oil amongst each other and that's that all right, let's go ahead and give this a quick stick blend, and we'll get to pouring.
we're back you guys and I am going to go ahead and scrape down these edges of these containers and get the rest of my soap in. We're going to go ahead and first tap it down. Any air bubbles that are in the soap will come to the surface and the top. And we are going to go ahead and do a swirl on this one. <laughs> I'm debating which one should I do? Okay, let's. Should I do my regular hanger scroll? I should I? All right, my daughter said she wants me to experiment, so I am using a child's coat hanger, and we are gonna go ahead and experiment with the swirl on this soap. Alright, and that's that. And we're going to see how that comes out.
to the cutting of the champagne and raspberry cold process soap. And I'm just putting on my gloves right now. Uh, it's been out of the mold. Um, it's been in the mold, excuse me, for 24 hours. So we are going to go ahead and cut this puppy and see where we are at. Very easy to cut. Um, let's see here. Mm -hmm. We have our end piece here. And let's see here. Oh, you guys, I'm sorry. Let me just. I'm repositioning <laughs> my cutter. <laughs> okay, so this is the end piece, you guys. And as you guys remember, I use the children's hanger on this. Ah! <laughs> Look at this, you guys. Hold on. Let me see. Oh, hold on. I'm going to bring the, the light up, you guys. So you guys can see exactly what I'm seeing with this beautiful design. Oh my god, I am loving it. Oh, smells good. Mm hmm. Yes. Oh. Mm. But look at those incredible swirls. Like, you guys, I don't, I don't think you guys are grasping what it is that I'm seeing. But look at that. Oh my god. Ah! <laughs> and zero glycerin rivers. This is with that little hanger, you guys. Like, I didn't even have a regular hanger to achieve these swirls, and these swirls are crazy. I think I found myself a new little tool to get my hanger swirl on. What do you guys think? <laughs> Yay! I'm extremely happy. I got the colors that I wanted, which was a raspberry color. As you can see here. And this is the other side. Very beautiful swirls. Mmm. The soap smells amazing. I soaked at room temperature. The flash point on the fragrance oil, which was champagne and strawberries from Wholesale Supplies Plus, was um, 200. 200 degrees. And I soaked at room temperature. So, combined, I would say no more than 140 degrees. I will take a nice close-up picture of these and so you guys can see what I'm seeing. Look at that. This is just a drop swirl, you guys, with a um, with a little swirling of that children's hanger. <laughs> Yay! Alright, I'll bring you guys back for a close-up. And I want to thank you for watching this video. Please, if you like the video, hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe to my channel. Let me know that you like what I am putting out there. And I want to be able to do so much more for you guys. So, also, be sure to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest. Until next time. You can go to latherandmore.com to check out all the rest of the goodies. And please leave me a comment in the comment section. Until next time, you guys. Bye.